Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number 13. Uh, today we are going to continue our discussion on source follower. So last time we have already started with source follower circuit, but uh, we have analyzed it with lambda equal to zero and we haven't considered the body effect. So today we will going to analyze and derive the small signal voltage gain using the small signal analysis and large signal analysis with lambda non-zero and considering the body effect. So let us begin. So as we know that uh, this is my circuit of source follower with resistive load, correct? So this RS is acting as a load register. Fine. So source follower can be used as voltage buffer. That means your voltage gain can be approximately equal to unity. So let us see why it is acting as an ideal buffer, when it is acting as an ideal buffer, whenever the input impedance is infinite. That means the input current flowing into the buffer is zero. So, uh, you know, it doesn't load the previous states. The advantage is that. So, and also the ideal buffer is the one whose output impedance is zero or as low as possible so that there is no voltage drop as the, uh, at the output and it behaves like a voltage source. Okay. So these are the characteristics of an ideal buffer. Now here you can see why VSB is non-zero. That means why body effect is present over here. You can see over here source terminal is not connected to ground. Whereas the body terminal of an NMOS transistor, it's connected to ground. That is the substrate of your silicon wafer. So that is connected to ground. So your VSB is non-zero. Fine. So let's derive the voltage, exact voltage gain formula for source follower amplifier with resistive load. So uh, here we are considering lambda equal to zero. That is okay that we can relax the condition, but we are considering the body effect. So last time we have already seen the small signal model, how it is drawn. Let us take this diagram, a uh, small diagram over here. And uh, let me paste it below so that it act as a reference. Okay, let me take this. Yeah, so let us take this, take this as a reference and try to draw the small signal model of your source follower. So from here we can see gate terminal we have connected to V in. Your source terminal we have RS and we have taken the output terminal from over here. Between drain and source we have GM into VGS uh, current source. And uh, we also have GM into VBS. Actually, this should be GMB. I don't know why it is not written. GMB it should be. Let me change that. So here, instead of GM, it should be GMB. Yeah. So it's added almost. Let me shift it over here. Yeah, now it looks fine, absolutely fine. So we have an additional current source, GMB into VPS, just because of the body effect, fine? And the drain terminal is connected to the ground, okay? So here also, we can consider, this is my small signal model of the source follower circuit with resistive load. So this voltage V out is parallel to RS. So we have a current flow over here, V out upon RS. And uh, now we are going to apply the KVL to the gate source loop. So what do we get? V in minus VGS minus V out is equal to zero. Correct? So yeah, here we have it. V in minus VGS minus V out is equal to zero. So VGS will be equal to V in minus V out, which becomes a request number 13.2.1. Fine? Now what will be a VBS? VBS voltage is between the body and the source. The body voltage is connected to the ground and the source voltage is as it is, right? If you see, look carefully into the diagram, what is the source voltage? Source voltage is same as my output voltage, fine? So hence we write over here, VBS is equal to minus of VS, which is equal to minus of V out. And uh, now what do we do is, now we apply the KCL to the source node. So uh, what does the KCL says? Incoming current should be equal to outgoing current. So over here we have two incoming currents, GM into VGS and GM in, GMB into VBS. And the outgoing current over here is V out upon RS, fine? So we get over here GM VGS plus GMB VBS is equal to V out upon RS. 
now we know the value of vgs it is equal to v in minus v out and we know the value of vbs it is minus v out right so we substitute all the values over here so we get gm into v in minus v out minus gmb into v out is equal to v out upon rs so now in the next step we club all the terms of v out together okay so we get gm v in is equal to v out into gm plus gmb plus 1 upon rs fine and uh, now if we write in terms of v out upon v in we can get it as follows gm into rs divided by 1 plus gm plus gmb into rs okay so this is the expression for v out upon v in and uh, we have earlier determined that gmb and gm relation so gmb is equal to eta times gm okay so the voltage gain small signal voltage gain for a source follower is given by rs divided by 1 upon gm plus 1 plus eta times rs okay now this is valid for lambda equal to 0 so this is the expression for small signal voltage gain of a source follower circuit with body effect equation number 13.2.3 fine now uh, if you want to consider the uh, you know lambda non zero then what we can do is only one term we have to add over here in this formula so the voltage gain of a source follower one can derive with lambda equal to non zero also right i leave up to you so the formula will be gm rs divided by 1 plus 1 upon ro plus gm plus gmb into rs so 1 upon ro term will come over here rest all the terms will remain intact so these are the formulas for the small signal voltage gain for a fo source follower circuit fine so yeah let's have a look at it again so we were deriving the small signal voltage gain uh, considering the body effect for a source follower so we constructed the small signal model then we applied the kvl we wrote vgs in terms of v in and v out we wrote vbs value then we applied the kcl at the source node and we found out the relation between v in and v out uh, for lambda equal to 0 and then we have modified it for lambda equal to non zero fine so this is about the small signal model for a, a voltage gain for a source follower circuit okay so next is we will estimate the uh, you know uh, output impedance of a source follower with lambda equal to 0 and with body effect okay so for uh, you know estimating the output impedance we consider the entire small single equivalent circuit inside the box with the external test source vx applied to the output terminals and we measure the ix right voltage uh you know uh, the current generated out of vx and z out will be vx upon ix so for estimating the output impedance your input terminals input is set to zero so v in has to be set to zero for determining the output impedance right so what we have done over here we have done the same thing we have put the entire small signal model inside the box and uh, then externally we have applied a test source vx and we have forced the current ix to it so for this circuit we have put v in equal to 0 we have to make v in equal to 0 so v in is a voltage source we have short circuited it and uh, we have to find the expression of vx upon ix so let's start so since my v in voltage is equal to 0 my gate terminal is connected to ground okay and to simplify the analysis we interchange the position of rs and vx because they are connected in parallel we can do that right so your circuit becomes something like this now for this network what we are going to do is we are going to find out vx upon ix right and that we are calling it zo and uh, since we have rs connected in parallel your z out will be rs parallel to zo so let us first find the output impedance uh, zo which is vx upon ix so looking at the diagram can we say directly vx will be equal to minus of vgs yes because gate terminal is connected to ground and uh, here the positive terminal of vx is connected to the negative terminal over here hence we can say vx is equal to minus vgs also what is vbs vbs is vb minus vx vb voltage is zero so your source voltage is also equal to your uh, uh, we can say also equal to minus vx which is equal to vgs okay so your vbs voltage is equal to minus of vx why because the source voltage is vs and uh, the source voltage vs is same as vx voltage 
so your vx will be minus vgs and your vbs will be minus vx now what we have to do is we have to apply the kcl at the source node so that means there are incoming currents over here three incoming currents gm vgs gmb vbs and ix so we equate them to zero so ix plus gm vgs plus gmb vbs is equal to zero now from here ix can be written as vgs can be substituted as minus of vx so we have taken on that side so it become plus similarly vbs is minus of vx again we have taken on the right hand side so it has become plus so ix will be equal to gm times vx plus gmb times vx okay so vx upon ix will be equal to 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb fine so your zo will be equal to 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb but uh, we want to calculate z out so what will be z out zo parallel to rs so zo is 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb so your output impedance of your source follower with body effect is given by z out equal to rs parallel to 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb and that this is the exact expression for your output impedance which is a low value for a source follower. okay so the z out expression of a source follower the exact value is given by rs parallel to 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb and that's quite a low value so which is given by equation number 13.2.10 now let's look at a shortcut technique to determine the value of z out directly from the analysis of the circuit so this is the same small signal model from which we have evaluated the value of z out so if you see carefully over here the impedance offered by gm vgs source will be 1 upon gm you remember small signal model is the linearized version of your mosfet and your circuit around it correct so uh, the impedance looking into this source uh, current source one, gm into vgs will be 1 upon gm and the impedance looking into the source uh, current source gmb into vbs will be 1 upon gmb so these two impedances will be in parallel and uh, this parallel combination is again in parallel with rs resistances okay that's why the impedance looking into the you know the source terminal over here will be rs parallel to 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb which is same as your expression for your uh, z out right now let's look into the circuit details of it so if you have a gate terminal connected to v in and the drain terminal connected to vdd the body terminal connected to ground and you look into the source terminal with body effect then the impedance looking into the source terminal will be 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb and then uh, when you look into the resistance rs so this impedance will be rs parallel to 1 upon gm parallel to 1 upon gmb so which is the same result as we have got for the z out fine so yeah so that's what we wanted to cover today uh, you know we have uh, covered around uh, the z out derivation as well as the small signal model i mean the small signal voltage gain using the small signal analysis for a source follower okay so i think that's all for today's session and next time we will start with the large signal analysis of source follower so until then have a good day and thank you